Hey, this is Local Music Mondays, and our role here is to teach you all about the music industry in Lexington, Kentucky, and we have something really exciting today, musical theater coming to us from Summerfest. I'm here with Wes Nelson and Jenny. Wes is the executive director of Summerfest, mm -hmm. and Jenny is the choreographer. And director. And director of Little Shop of Horrors. Yes which is opening on the 23rd yes. of this month. Yes, and we play for two weekends. Two weekends, and I think there's some changes this year that we need to make sure everybody knows about. Why don't Definitely. you tell us? We're very excited this summer. Uh, Summerfest, which is an extension of a long tradition of outdoor theater in Lexington. Uh, we used to be known as the Lexington Shakespeare Festival, but now we're Kentucky Conservatory Theater and Summerfest. And for years, people have known us for being at the UK Arboretum. Mm -hmm. And we have a new home this summer, Moondance Amphitheater in Beaumont Center, um, which is absolutely exciting. Uh, we actually just closed our first production of the summer, Twelfth Night, last night, and our patrons are absolutely loving this new space. Um, it's a wonderful facility with a permanent stage structure, a box office, public restrooms, and it's right in the heart of Beaumont Center, so there's plenty of restaurants and businesses to stop and grab your picnic, grab your wine, and come on out. Mm -hmm. And do you have food available out there? We do. We have some vendors. Um, every night we have uh, Bluegrass Kettle Masters Kettle Corn mm -hmm. and Rapici's Italian Ice, mm -hmm. and then food trucks we have one per night, and they rotate out each night um, with a different uh -huh. food truck. That's great. So if somebody just wants to run out there after work. Exactly. They can go after work and they can have food and not worry about picking things up. But exactly. They can pick things up if they want to. Yep. And they can bring their blanket or their own chair or if they just want to come and have nothing to worry about, we have chairs provided as well. Oh, so. that's great. Yeah, we try to make it very user friendly. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Hit it, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a really, really fun, um, I would call it a dark comedy musical, um, set in the 60s about a Venus flytrap plant that eats people uh -huh. to survive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's the fastest way I can get to the yeah, point. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a good breakdown. Yeah. I think a lot of people have probably actually seen the movie. Of course. And sure. So tell me about your big... Venus flytrap. Um, Did somebody build a big? Um, no, we actually rented these from CCM, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Um, so we they went up and uh, rented their their four plants, four puppets, um, mm -hmm. and I have four puppeteers who manipulate these puppets throughout the show. And uh -huh. she's a we you know we, her name is Audrey too, uh -huh. um, and she's just really really important to the not just the design element or the artistry of the piece, but to the story as mm -hmm. well. She's mm -hmm. a big part of it, so it's interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, it's a whole different ball game with a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, the cast. How? What? Tell me. How many are in the cast? We have eight, eight. people in mm -hmm. the cast, not including the puppeteers. That's so it's, mm -hmm. it's a small cast, which is actually a change for Summerfest. People are used to us having these large cast musicals, and we've wanted to do Little Shop for years. We've had patrons saying, "Do Little Shop," and uh -huh. so with our move to the new venue, it's a different shape as far as the stage goes, and mm -hmm. it just felt so appropriate for Little Shop. And so we're excited to finally be producing uh -huh. that show out there. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, so you brought a video for us. Yes. So we'll take a look at that real quick. Awesome. So stop asking. Bring me! Fine. I will run down to the corner store and get you a pound of rare roast beef. Maybe that'll hold you off until Life Magazine gets here. Uh-uh. No way. Look, it is my last offer. Yes or no? Mm. And better than nothing. Great. Fine. Done. I don't think you're getting any dessert. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I took a Xanax. The voices in my head kept saying, more to see more, more to see more. I drank some tea. Cute as can be. Is somebody in there? You're looking mighty sweet. Seymour, Seymour. No, it ain't Seymour, it's me. Oh my God! Your friend and Audrey too. This man is talking to you. Am I dreaming this? I don't believe it. Believe it, baby. It talks. Am I dreaming this? No, and you ain't in Kansas night. Something very wrong here. Relax. 
and go with the dog. Do me a favor, will you, sweetheart? A favor? I need the water in the worst way. Look at my branch. I'm a goner, honey. Come on and give me a drink. I don't know if I should. Little lady, be nice. It's just more water, right? So do I drink this drink? Your branch is on right for Don't need no glass, no eyes. I'll get the key and... Don't need no twist of life. Fire oh, my supper time. Oh. So, um, so tell me about what we just saw. So we've been rehearsing at Blackbird Dance Theater. They have a new studio space just off of Nicholasville Road, and that's where we've been rehearsing our shows. So the cast at this point, you've been rehearsing for three and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. And so this is the last step before we move to the stage at Moon mm -hmm. Dance Amphitheater. The cast at this point have all their prop pieces. The plant, obviously, as uh -huh. you saw, um, is there in the studio space as well. So that's kind of where they put the show together and put every get everything ready before they move out to the big set uh-huh mm -hmm. neat yeah uh so just they just been working for three weeks yeah well yeah. that's pretty amazing mm -hmm. yeah we've been pushing really really fast yeah yeah <laughs> just an example of how great our artists are oh the local town. talent here in lexington is you know, fantastic yeah that uh, they can really my jump cast in. is very very talented uh -huh. and most of them have been in several shows this is not their first rodeo so mm -hmm. we've been we've been because of that we've been able to go quickly yeah do you want to tell me about specific people in the cast sure there are some familiar faces to uh -huh. lexington theater um mm -hmm. whit whitaker who has done tons of summer fest shows but also yeah. a grand night for singing whit pops up all over the place if you need fabulous singing mm -hmm. um whit is actually the voice of the plant he's the voice of audrey too that makes sense exactly <laughs> yes <laughs> so Whit has oh, the, i can't wait yeah Whit has the diva role he gets to sit backstage with a microphone and just sing and uh -huh. talk it's it's fabulous so yeah. uh, we have whit whitaker uh two other very familiar faces to the Summerfest stage are Matt Seckman playing Seymour and Megan Sherrard playing Audrey, two very seasoned veterans of musical theater here in town. So mm -hmm. uh, Jacob Carnes mm -hmm. playing Mr. Mm -hmm. Mushnick. So a lot of very familiar faces. Um, and then as well, we're very proud. We have one of our, the show is also known for the doo-wop girls. There's a, a kind of a Greek chorus almost of yes. three urchins. And one of them is played by a student at SCAPA named Elise Parker. And she is just now going to be a freshman in high school and came in an audition against all of these adults and just killed it uh -huh. and so she's our baby in the uh -huh. cast and she's going to be one to watch over the coming years absolutely. i guess yeah absolutely mm -hmm. yeah so you mentioned blackbird yes dance so tell us about that oh cool i like to hear all the things <laughs> you know, I because definitely it's very that. rare it's very rare that i have anyone in here who <laughs> just does one thing right right <laughs> it right. seems like we have a, a community of multi-talented yes. folks so let's hear yes. about your dance group um we are brand new um just opened our doors in march the studio just opened in june um the physical spot but um it's just a jazz and contemporary dance company mm -hmm. um we do both theater and um concert dance uh we just came off of Craziness. We did two shows. The junior company, which are, is made up of all of the students, performed in um, at the beginning of June, and then the senior company performed the very next week downtown mm -hmm. at the DAC um, in conjunction with Chico Fellini and um, music producer Dwayne Lundy. Yeah. So we just wrapped that up. What seems like I guess it was about three weeks ago, uh -huh. right before I started yeah. Little Shop. It feels like <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. It does. So. So then you'll do Little Shop, and then I guess you'll be going back to and then the I next go Blackbird right back to project. dance and theater town for, uh, with my original work. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans coming up? To yeah, put something I out do. There? I don't have anything yet as far as dates or times, but we are currently working on the next project. Time's always, been always ticket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been really exciting because you know one thing, as you said, with theater artists especially, is collaboration. Mm -hmm. And you know, Jenny and I have worked together for years. We always joke and say that we're. 
our version of Bob Fosse and Gwen Vernon. <laughs> if one of us is working on a project, the other one's working on it in some way. Uh-huh. And so Summerfest has been working closely with Blackbird as they mm-hmm. got started. And last year, KCT helped produce their first project, mm-hmm. The Great Gray, which is at the Downtown Arts Center. And so it's been great kind of helping them get started. And now that they have their own space and their own business, mm-hmm. they're actually providing space for us to rehearse our shows and office space where she and I work together in the yeah. facility. So it's That's, really good. That just... Uh, both are all of those kinds that kind of wonderful collaboration and sharing I think that that's just so much part of the chemistry of what's what makes Lexington art community and whether you're talking visual arts or performing mm-hmm. arts so special yeah. is that people really enjoy working together and I know you do more than just Summerfest also yes yeah I guest direct in town uh, for several different theaters um, Summerfest um, over the past few years have kind of we've ventured outside of the summer season mm-hmm. with some other fall and su- uh, spring productions uh, such as Spring Awakening that we worked on together um, August Osage County a lot of productions at the Downtown Arts Center and hopefully at the end of this summer we'll be announcing a possible winter production but we're keeping that under our hat <laughs> until the end of the summer uh-huh. just to surprise just everybody to give everybody just get surprise. everybody excited yeah. so uh, yeah so we're excited that Summerfest is going to uh, slowly start doing out of season productions again because for years we were known just for the theater festival mm-hmm. we jumped in very quickly to producing a lot of out of season shows mm-hmm. and now we're kind of reining things back in to make sure that the product is high quality mm-hmm. so that we're not spreading ourselves too thin mm-hmm. now do you do some training yes we actually uh, through both Blackbird and through KCT mm-hmm. we have educational programming for middle school and high school students mm-hmm. And we focus mainly through KCT on musical theater. Um, we were actually really excited um, moving to Moondance this summer. It was a new chapter in our history. Mm-hmm. And the very first performers who performed representing us on that stage were our students. Uh-huh. And so it was really special to have the kids kick it off for us. Um, we had a two-week summer intensive with uh, middle school and high school students. And they performed Aida Junior, mm-hmm. um, which there's a series of Broadway shows that kind of get condensed and make it more uh, kid-friendly. Uh-huh. And so they actually opened for Twelfth Night for two nights on the main stage. So they were actually the first representatives from our theater to kick off our new home at Moondance. Yeah, awesome. Uh, So if people want to hear about Summerfest, Mm -hmm. I assume you have a website. We do. We do. If someone wants more information about our shows or our educational programming Mm -hmm. or any upcoming projects, they can visit www.mykct.org. That's M Y kct.org mm-hmm. and it's a very user-friendly website and you can click through the conservatory which is our education section Summerfest, and then there will be another project section as well and there's also a link on our website to blackbird dance theater if they would like to find out more information about them that kind of directs you straight to their website Mm -hmm. and you can purchase tickets on the website or get more information and we also have a hotline number Um, this is an unmanned hotline number that um, you can leave a voice a voicemail for reservations Mm -hmm. or just with questions and we'll return your phone call and that's 859-935-1564 and that was the year of Shakespeare's birth so we thought that was appropriate that's very (laughs) appropriate (laughs) and I guess Facebook Definitely. Yeah. We all live, the world lives by Facebook Mm -hmm. anymore. So uh, we actually have um, a great Facebook page where we update everything on there. Sometimes we'll do ticketing contests for people to reply to things to win free tickets to Mm -hmm. Little Shop of Horrors. So it's a great way to find out about what we're doing. Do they need to like... Uh, Summerfest or Casey? If they do a search for it, they would find it under Kentucky Conservatory Theater. Okay. And they'll see the big Summerfest logo as soon as they get there. Okay. Same for uh, Blackbird. Yeah, it's Blackbird Dance Theater. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know you guys are really busy because you're trying to break down a show and set yes. up another show. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And you have... Uh, I, do you have other jobs besides? I have a class. I actually have an intensive class at 1 o'clock, and in yeah. about an hour or so, I've got to dance for a little while. So. Yeah, busy, busy. <laughs> and uh, she actually just brought in a guest artist from Chicago, Don Triel, who just spent a week with kids and adults teaching hip-hop and stomp classes. So it's been fun. very entertaining to be in the office and watch the kids yeah. just doing all this stomp. It's yeah. been really incredible. So Blackbird, does it also have a website? Yeah, so we're, I guess it's, we're an offshoot of KCT, so if you go to the mykct.org, you'll find you'll it, find it'll it take there. you straight to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys so much thank for taking you. time out of your busy schedule to come down and talk to us. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot wait to see the show. <laughs> I hope lots and lots of people show up out there to see it and um, break a leg. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. <laughs>